Hi friends, it's Audrey here from 1824 Walker Farmhouse. It's Sunday morning, New Year's Eve day, and uh, my mom started years and years ago when I was a child that after church we would have a big breakfast or lunch and brunch, and that's what I do. <laughs> I've continued that tradition. A lot of you have been asking about Sally and Sophie, and here they are. They're doing good, growing big. They, um, they're still real skittish, so i got to get in there and sit more with them. I'll just take a chair right in with them and sit, and they'll get used to us. They are starting to like be better when uh, Dave gives them their hay and a little bit of grain. And Oliver, he's doing good. There he is, and that's Bridget. Look how pretty she is. And Oliver, he's just something. He's still like, you know, a puppy dog. But with him is his original owner, and she rehomed him here. And you know, rehoming's not always a bad thing. She um, needed the pasture for a horse, but we had such a nice visit with her when she came, and uh, we just both love country living. There's my Colleen with the black face, and then there's Brigitte. They love their treats, and on Christmas, Dave gave them extra grain. We've always done that. He did that when he had cows. Oh, there's Oliver. She used to read books to him. And you know, some of the other ones are a little bit jealous of Oliver. Look, here's coming David. We got mail. <laughs> and it was addressed to Oliver Kurzminski. And we want to thank Ron and Sarah, but they did say in a note that he is supposed to share with all the other animals and with Dave. But look at all these animal crackers. And I did sneak some to Katie May, and she absolutely loves them. I'm always feeling so blessed when my family is surrounded by me. No matter what we do, when they come and spend the day, weekend here, it's just an extra blessing to me. My little grandson there in the buffalo check shirt, he was helping Pappy clean out the area where the sheep hang out. We try to clean this out like, oh, probably four times a year. And um, after it get, gets up so high, then we just clean it all out. But look at Oliver there. He's just hanging out. He thinks he's one of the guys, too. We're just so blessed. You know, a couple years ago, Dave bought this new tractor. And oh, it's just been a real blessing. It's just really, really helped on the farm. Dave says he doesn't know how he used to do it without it. You know, we've done everything by hand, and uh, I've cleaned that barn out myself at times, and uh, it gets a struggle sometimes, you know, uh, so it's really help, and we have help here too. Jesse came for the morning and helped all morning. They started out early in the morning right after the sun came up, and I really want to appreciate, uh, tell you how we really appreciate you uh, commenting, your wonderful comments through the year. 2023 uh, was a growth time for us on YouTube. A lot of you say you miss the recipes and you'd like to see more of the sheep or the farm. And so um, we're going to try to mix it up a little more. And um, But I'm, I can't do like a house tour and then like do a farm thing. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to put like Good Shepherd Farms in the thumbnail, in the title, and then you'll know that's like a farming one. Uh, somebody suggests that we have two channels, and I'm lucky to do one. Um, so we're just going to keep it one channel, but I put the farm content uh, separate. You know, eventually, uh, when you do a house tour, uh, we love doing house tours, but uh, you don't want to, I just don't want to mix the farming with the house tour, so I think we're just going to keep it all separate. Well, we let Sophie and, and uh, Sally out. Uh, we keep them in the barn. We'll probably do it till spring. Uh, I'm extra, you know, just in case. I'm just extra careful with biosecurity. We do practice biosecurity here on the farm. We've had a lot of people ask if uh, we're doing farm tours again and want to book them out. And we're just putting them on hold. Uh, I missed a couple opportunities last year for speaking engagements about sheep and farming. And so uh, we're just going to maybe have one farm day. And uh, we're just thinking about that now.
we are so excited for 2024. There are so many projects that we want to do and we just can't wait to share with you. And uh, I have some more recipe ideas and oh my goodness, we have farm tours that we really can't wait to share with you. We're going to do them a little different this year and we have some home tours uh, that we can't wait to share with you. We just have so many ideas in our head that we're just so excited to get going. Dave and I live a very old-fashioned farm life, but we love that old-fashioned farm life. I love cooking from scratch. I love all my family. Uh, Jesse was here eating when they took a break. I love them all around the table, and we're so blessed with help. Here comes Ron, and he didn't know it, <laughs> but we were clearing an area out. And yes, we're getting chickens again. So um, we're clearing this out for the coop, and hopefully it'll be uh, a very safe area for them. I know we're going to have to have hawk and critter patrol. I hear that's a problem now, and uh, when we had chickens before, we never really had a problem with any of that. So uh, that'll be a new learning curve, but I'm saying it out loud. We're bringing chickens back to the farm. We just want to thank Ron and Sarah. You know, they gave us all the wood, and oh, what good timing because of Dave's hand. And we heat our house with wood, and he's always coming over and helping with his tractor. So thank you, Ron and Sarah. Hi, everybody. Uh, starting off, I want to thank everybody. My finger is well on its way, and uh, thank you for all your prayers and good wishes. Yes, and um, somebody even sent him a tie, which she wanted. It's so nice, and we just want to thank you all for your cards and um, all your comments, and yeah. Well wishes. Right, so. and uh, so we've been on here for over a year on YouTube, and we really like it. I didn't know, you know, if you, if you watch before, it's like really nervous, but now we're both getting much better. We're always like, make sure you're looking at the camera. <laughs> it's a learning process and I'm a slow learner. So. Oh, me too. But, um, and I used to read all these things, like you always had to be dressed nice and your makeup on and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that's just not me. And that's sort of why we're even separating the farm from the decorating yeah, videos and uh still gonna do some farm stuff and it, we yeah. have a farm so it's a big part of our life and big part of our day so right right and uh, so we're still gonna share all that a lot of you said oh we miss a sheep or how's katie doing so um uh we'll have the, i'll have that in the video prior to this but this will be coming out new year's eve and we just want to thank everybody for um your comments and subscribing you know, everybody knows I'm on a Facebook, we have over 10,000 followers combined our personal account and our uh, business. And I'll, I've always said I am not a numbers girl. I really rather build community than numbers. And so I know there has to be other people out there that like farming and decorating and cooking or something like that. And and um, I had a hard time not having the shop. I had a hard time. Yeah. It, with that. It, <laughs> We were going to have a shop almost yesterday, but it comes, it comes and goes daily. But uh, we're, we're going to move on. It's yeah, a step journey, but we're moving. Right, right, and uh, but we really do like YouTube, and I didn't realize that all of our our customers from thirty years have been watching YouTube, and uh, mm -hmm. we've gotten so many kind messages from them, and uh, so I want to thank you, and I want to thank all the new people that have subscribed. And um, we're almost to 2,000 so subscribers. So um, I, as I'm going to say outside of one side of my mouth, I'm not a numbers person, but on the other side, it's fun to watch it grow. And um, we did become monetized in 2023. That means you'll see commercials in between. And, um, and any time that, you know, from the last couple of years on, we do, we're still involved with rescuing sheep. And, um, and grow in our flock again because you know we've got two more baby dolls and so any monies literally do go to uh those causes and or it trickles down like the farmer that we get our hay from and rain you know we keep that separate and uh 
So we really appreciate because uh, not only you, well, if you watch the ads, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not only does it help our channel grow, it also helps our cause grow for the animal rescue and the local farmers. And, and like Dave said, farming is a passion, so we really uh, want to take you to different farms this year. And there's a lot of local farms that have farm shops that people don't even know about in our yeah. local area. And, um, and you know, we love the primitives and history. And uh, I even like a little bit of that cottage core decorating. We're going to go into that too next year. I'm, I'm so excited for 2024 and our channel and our heads are both just swirling with ideas. And um, so we're excited. Yeah. So thanks again for watching us. and For being here. Being. And, and I want to thank my nephew, Sean, who's gotten me out of some things I just didn't know about on the computer. And we also want to thank Tyler, if you're watching this, um, for all the times I've bugged you and how you helped me get YouTube on. It's a, and not, we're still learning. It's a learning process. But we're really having fun with it. <laughs> And from the farming part, we have Jesse and uh, Mark and uh, yeah, we do have help. People yeah. ask us if we have help, yeah. and yes, we do. Yeah, and we always have. I mean, we've always had some kind of help, even when we were young, because uh, you know we were the sandwich generation. We had kids and parents, and we both worked off the farm. Uh, we had a full-fledged sheep business, and so um, we've always had a little bit of help come and go out of our lives, and we appreciate everybody and anyone that's ever helped my little joke is an acre got a lot bigger than it used to be the older i get so. <laughs> <laughs> right and the hill got steeper <laughs> yeah. yes it did <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for being here and uh happy new year and we'll see you in 2024 bye bye and thank you and oh my goodness look at these little oh my goodness little stinkers they got out and my neighbor called and said hey audrey do you know your sheep are out uh, which I didn't, so we went running out. But they were so good. Dave went out, and they followed him right back in. I wish I uh, got the video from right away, but, you know, I got it at the end. And if you play it over again, you'll see Annabelle. She's <laughs> bringing up the rear, but she's still doing good. We've increased her vitamins and minerals, and um, she's still there. She comes in. <laughs> she's still doing good. So, Happy New Year, and we'll see you in 2024.